the energy of oneness is very, very powerful today and yesterday. And I realize this, it may be hard to understand this, but the transmission of this energy happens because there is no transmission, there is no transmitter, and there is no receiver of a transmission. And that's exactly why the transmission is so powerful. No transmission, no transmitter, no receiver of a transmission. It has always just been this one. And that's really what the transmission is all about. It feels like powerful energy. Sometimes for me too, it's, it's almost overwhelming. The experience of energy of bliss and love is so powerful. And it has been this, this week as well. But it doesn't really overwhelm. The body is still alive. I've been through this many times and the body always is still here afterwards, even though it seems like it's being overwhelmed by this energy. And imagine if it did really overwhelm the body, what a beautiful way to go. Could there be a better way just in this vast ocean of bliss? This is our true nature. Buddha nature, Christ consciousness, whatever name we give it. God, whatever name we want to give this, this is what we really are. And that's why there's a transmission. Because there's no transmission, there's no transmitter, and there's no receiver. There is only this oneness. And that's the energy that you experience, is the energy of your true nature, the energy of this one, one undivided, boundless, infinite, beginningless and endless consciousness or awareness, whatever name we want to give it, because it is beyond all names. beyond anything that we can describe or imagine with our minds. And yet this is what you are. Because this energy is so present in me, so permeating and, and, uh, you could call it surrendered to it, right? So what surrendered? The illusion of a separate self is surrendered. Nothing real is surrendered or can be surrendered. The illusions are surrendered. The illusion of a separate self, the illusion of a separate world, the illusion of separation, the illusion of duality, all that is let go, surrendered, In fact, it's not even done purposely. It just dissolves in this great bliss. It dissolves in this realization of oneness by itself. There's no effort involved. There's no doing involved and there's no doer to to do anything. It's always just this boundless totality. It's always been this. And yet we have stories, dreams, samsara, illusions of a self, of a soul, of a person, of a life, of a world. All of these are stories, conditioned stories that we believe and perceive because we believe them so strongly, we perceive them as real. In fact, none of it is. No Buddha, 
no Jesus, no Ramana, no me, no you. It's all a dream. There is only this absolute truth, this absolute reality. Always, there has never been anything but this. And when you deeply experience that, when the profound realization of that just burns away all illusions, then you see that what you thought was a world was only this. What you thought was a universe was only this. What you thought was God was only this. What you thought was Jesus, Buddha, Ramana, you, me, was only ever this, only ever this. And this is why there's this extreme, extraordinary bliss, happiness here. This great profound peace, this infinite love. And because you perceive this in me, you see this in me, you experience this in me and experience the energy in me. And you want that, you want that. So you surrender the illusion to that. Your desire to have this surrenders the illusion to this and then you experience it. Not from me, it's in you. It's always been you, always been in you. You've just been looking in the wrong direction. You've been looking for teachers, looking for spiritual knowledge. You've just been looking in the wrong direction. All of it has always been right here. Always been present in you, as you. The true you beyond a body and mind, beyond a person, beyond the story of me and my life. No matter how we use spiritual knowledge to try and free ourselves of the story of me and my life and awaken, it cannot happen that way. It does not happen that way. It has never happened in that way for anyone. Instead, we let go of the dream and it's here. We let go of the illusion and realize that it's always been here. It's here right now. It's always been here. It always will be here. But we have to let go of the illusion in order to realize it, in order to experience it. So that's what this is about. The energy itself is it. Realizing this energy, feeling this energy in you is it. Just allow it to take over, to erase the illusions, to wipe out the illusions, to dissolve the illusions, to burn away the illusions, because it will do that as long as you open to it. As long as you open to your true self, you will no longer need these illusions of me and my life, me and the world, the world and universe. You'll no longer need any of it. No longer need all the spiritual teachings you've worked and studied at for so long. All the beliefs, all of them will dissolve and burn away because they're not real, they're just illusion, just a dream. And you'll wake up to your true self, your true nature, what you truly are and realize that 
it's the same as the universe, the world. It's all just this. It's all just this. And that's why these transmissions are possible. Because it's all just this. That's why in many ways, this is nothing but the universe talking to itself. Universe here, universe there, same universe. Ocean here, ocean there, same ocean. The waves are an illusion. There's just ocean. There's just the true self. Just God. Whatever word we want to use, it's not anything that we think it is. So words only distract us really. This direct experience, this direct realization, this direct feeling of this, this infinite bliss, this unbounded peace beyond understanding, this infinite, all pervading, unconditional love. Hmm. Can you feel it? Can you feel this? If you open to it, I know you can. It's not something you have to understand. You cannot understand it. I don't understand it. Nobody understands it. It just is. It's beyond understanding. It is the very truth and reality itself. Even the most brilliant scientist and all the research and all the science throughout the ages cannot discover this. And yet it's always here. No scientist in the future ever will discover this. And yet it's always here. Always present always you. Thank you, my friend. I felt like doing this today because there's so much energy here. It's just overflowing, overwhelming, overflowing this body. So I felt that the energy would be very strong for you. Strong enough to help you let go. Strong enough to help you open to it. Strong enough to help you directly realize your true nature. And it is in this energy that you're feeling. You don't need to understand it. Just open to it. It does everything that needs to be done. No transmitter, no receiver of a transmission, no transmission, just your true nature which is all pervading, boundless, everything. Mm. Wonderful. Isn't it? Wonderful.